Good morning, buenos días, buongiorno, bon dia, zdrajzvujte, ni hao. Comment ça va? How are you? That's in French. Turn right onto West 116th Street. Como estas? That's how are you in Spanish? Espanol? Continue for one mile. Buenos dias, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes is good afternoon in Spanish. And buenas noches is good night in Spanish. Ah, oh, I feel good. I feel refreshed. I fell asleep last night watching a really good movie. I had no idea. Sometime I'd be on my daughters. They have a Netflix account and sometime I'd be there because I, I, I deactivated my account on Netflix a few years back. So yesterday I was on Netflix watching Vanquish. I highly recommend it's a good action movie, suspense, thriller, the end. I kind of sensed and this, uh, this just um, guessed how it will end and I was right. The first impression that I got. Usually, when I um, guess a movie ending, is end the way I guessed it. I think only once or twice I, I was wrong, and it was like shocking ending. <laughs> if I remember the book, the not the books, the, the the movies that I'm talking about, I will make sure to put that on my community tab so you can enjoy it. Once in a while, I like to fall asleep watching a movie. So I watched the night before, it was um, Cinderella. It was a different, um, it was like a remake from 1998 with Drew Barrymore. It was pretty nice, pretty good movie. I watched it twice. That's the type of movie I can watch like every night, every day, for a good week or so, depending how I feel, my mood. And these days I was feeling a little emotional and you know sometimes you just need something to cheer you up and to make you smile, make you feel a little better. So yes. So Vanquish with um, Morgan Freeman. He never disappoints. This actor is amazing. He has skills, acting skills. to be quick <laughs> before someone uh, tries to pass you. When you drive, especially here in New York, you are extremely vigilant and very alert. And just uh, be mindful of your surrounding and be quick. You can't hesitate because a moment of hesitation can actually destroy lives. How sad, you know, you wake up one day and you don't know that it's going to be your last day on earth. Like this poor lady, they got married and on the day of her wedding, she was killed by a drunk driver. This is the wisdom of God forbidding us from using alcohol. Especially when you're driving, you should never be intoxicated while driving a vehicle. So many lives, lives, lives have been lost due to alcohol consumption, addiction, people being so reckless. So today is May, I think, five, right? Le cinq, in French, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. I just counted in French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. <laughs> I grew up in South of France, so French is like, do a <laughs> piece of cake. I don't speak it like regularly, like every single day here, because I have nobody to talk to except if I start talking to my, my kids and we start. We start having conversation if they were really mastered in French. 
So the two languages that I speak regularly here in America, it's English and Spanish. I work for Dominican for nine years, off and on. And the last time I worked with him in his office was at income tax office in the Lower East Side was last year. I left in March and now I just be freelancing, doing consultant, helping people with their legal documentation such as power of attorney, divorce, bankruptcy, birth certificate translation, marriage certification translation, apostille, you know, going to the Department of State and have it authenticated and certified. So I help people with little knowledge of document preparation, filling out forms, and I get, I get um, extra income like that. I do also notary public services. That's a big blessing and thanks to the Dominican guy that encouraged me to go and take the test and I aced it the first time. I was so relieved. I had studied like a week prior and then the previous night before the exam, I was reading again online and my papers. I went there feeling confident and a little nervous <laughs> and then I got it. So that's extra income as well. You know, there's so many ways to, to earn extra income, especially when you're a single mom and you're struggling financially. There's so many resources out there. Just Google. Google is your best friend in terms of job searching. And nowadays it's so easy to find some extra income streams. You can wash dirty clothes for people. You can clean people's residence. You can wash their pet, house sit, meaning just sit down in their house, water their plants, watch TV while they're on vacation or on a business trip. You still get paid for that. You can run errands with some clients, go with them either driving with them to their doctor appointment, doing grocery shopping, sit down, watch TV with them and you get paid for that. You can write articles, you can do web design, you can leave, you can leave the comfort of your bedroom and just go to your living room, sit down with your laptop, your smartphone and start earning money doing so many things, taking surveys, answering questions. Remote working is a blessing for a lot of people that are either disabled, they can't move too much, or they have children or elderly parents or loved one that they're taking care of so they're not able to just get out and do some commute so they work from home you can do deliveries you can work for catering business you can um, be a bartender for a little while while you are saving some money using all the tips that you have been given i remember when i was working as a bartender i was super excited every time i was going to work because of the tips that makes you feel good about yourself because you know that you provided excellent service and people rewarded you for that. You wore them like, wow, oh my goodness, that was amazing. She made sure to bring some more sugar on the table or some uh, salt and pepper. And she came and made sure that we were all taken care of, that we didn't need anything. She was smiling. She was very friendly. She was professional. So it's really what you leave as an imprint to people, the impression you make, how you make them feel. People will mostly forget what you said, but they won't forget how you made them feel deep down inside. So it's very important to know the skill of how to leave 
a lasting positive impression on someone how to make an impact a positive impact so people will talk about you refer you to other to their friends their families to co-workers to strangers you know it's just like how all these businesses these big corporation and conglomerates they're making billions of dollars and making so many, much in revenues and profit word of mouth and um, how the impact of social engineering is so huge because sometimes it's just from what someone has experienced that your business will grow <laughs> like someone went to your to your restaurant one day and they tasted a certain meal in 1000 feet merge onto FDR drive and they received a five star customer service after that they were so amazed and so surprised because your staff your personal went above and beyond that they start telling everybody they know so you're getting free marketing free, free advertising they're promoting your business your company your brand your they're promoting you promoting you so yes the power of Word of mouth, social engineering. So be positive, be friendly, be professional, look presentable, you know. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but when it comes to professionally, professionalism and business, entrepreneurship, you need to look the part, you know, you need to look nice and clean and neat. People need to feel comfortable around you, near you. They need to trust you. They, they need to like you. So they will want to do Continue on FDR you. Drive for five miles. So they will want to continue doing business with you. They will want to keep coming back and back for more. This is what I'm leaving you with today, advice. So you can improve your life, celebrate every day, you know. Just remember that just being alive today, you woke up, that was a tremendous blessing. So write it down. I'm very grateful I woke up today. Thank you, God. Thank you, my Lord, for giving me my soul back. Because every night when we go to sleep, our soul leaves our body. Yes, our soul departs from our body and roam around. And this is why we dream <laughs> of being in certain places and we're wondering how that happened. Yes, it's the soul. The soul travels at night. It travels while you sleep. And when you wake up, that means the soul is back inside your body and you're ready for another day of being productive or being lazy or being great at doing amazing things making a difference just living living life so yes journal journal just mean you write down your feelings your thoughts in print you know on paper you write it down the power of writing things it's amazing amazing like having a vision board being clear and know exactly what you want to achieve what you want to accomplish as your goals and how you want your life to go, desire it, think it, believe it, believe in yourself and you will achieve it, law of attraction, the secret to success, to happiness, it's just having gratitude, believing in yourself, being positive and helping someone out there and always uh, thinking of people that have less than you, they are less fortunate and they wish they had half of what you have or they wish they could live the life that you are living, experiencing. But if they only knew <laughs> all the hardships and struggles that you've been through, a lot of people have no idea. So they say the grass is greener on the other side. Well, sometimes when you found out about someone's life and journey and experiences, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm not complaining anymore. <laughs> I'm 
happy is what I have been given. And remember, God never makes mistakes. So whatever you are going through, whatever He allows happening for you, it always happens for you. I learned this in 2018 by my amazing mentor, Ed Mallet, who said that things happen for you, not to you, but for you. So just make sure to think that and truly believe that whatever happens it's actually a blessing in disguise even when you don't fully understand it and comprehend it it is a blessing it is good for you you may not see it or understand it fully but it's good for you that's it and that's how you keep having this optimistic outlook on life you see the glass always half full never half empty and you just appreciate and you're just thankful that's it Yes, I woke up feeling great. <laughs> the power of good sleep, you know, the quality of your sleep. Not so much quantity, not so much about how many hours, but how well you sleep. It feels good. Oh my God, I woke up smiling. My skin felt good. I look in the mirror. I'm like, yay! <laughs> this is how 49s look like. <laughs> Almost 50 years old. Yes. Anyway, age is just a number, but I, I've always been that type of woman that always been telling my age. I never had any issues until I die I'm always going to be very grateful and proud to say this is my age and this is me being unapologetically me and being myself no matter what telling it like it is like it is as always so yes repeat after me you can do it I can do it if you did it Nyama I can do it too so yes I can I will nothing can stop me I can I will nothing can stop me <laughs> I was raped as a child and look at me I'm not bitter I'm not revengeful for the people that hurt me when I was a kid even in two miles take the exit on the right even my loved ones that did me wrong I let go I forgave that's the key to true contentment and happiness is to let go to forgive to don't go to bed having grudges against anybody what's the point live your life fully to the fullest enjoy every moment of it live in the present stop thinking about the past it's right there <laughs> Where it belongs in the past, leave it there. If you come knocking, just ignore. Ignore. Focus on the present and vision the future, how it's going to look like. And keep working on yourself, on your goals, and on building your legacy. So your future great, 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 great grandchildren. Children, <laughs> the English language. Your future great, 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 great grandchildren will talk about you in ways that are amazing, beautiful, and fabulous. Like how today, over 1400 years after he has left planet Earth, we're still talking about him and still praising him. In a quarter mile, take exit 7 toward East 23rd Street. I'm talking to you about the amazing man, the noble prophet, the greatest man to ever live, the greatest influential person on planet Earth. Christian scholars, the historian, published writers, educational people. Take exit 7, then turn right onto East 25th Street. Debaters, they all have mentioned him. They all have... Turn right onto East 25th Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto 3rd... Head south on FDR Drive toward Waterside Plaza. In 400 feet, turn right onto East 23rd Street. Turn right onto East 23rd Street. said good things about him.
great things about him and how he has been such an, an amazing human being. I just let the ambulance pass. So yes, my beautiful sister, that's what I wanted to tell you and to remind you, I love you very much. And remember what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Continue on East 23rd Street for half a mile. You were made to be unstoppable. You were made to be amazing, do great things. I was looking at the book because I always carry it in my car. The title, You Were Made to Be Unstoppable. I co-author it and 27 other beautiful ladies that you can see here have all authored this book. They have shared their story here to empower you, to help you believe bigger, dream bigger. I love you. I will share my link to the Amazon page so you can uh, order it or read it for free on Kindle. I love you very much, my beautiful sister. Talk to you later. Uh oh, the ray of sun <laughs> all over me. <laughs> love you. Bye. That's Vidanya. That's goodbye in Russian.